Hey guys, this is Ryan with Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning and wanted to get you familiar with the heat pump if you've never owned one before. Uh, there are some characteristics about heat pumps that tend to throw people from the north and uh, way down south that are used to single stage uh, furnaces or electric uh, heaters. It'll throw them off uh, just because heat pumps are a totally different animal. A um, couple of things to keep in mind is it's completely normal for the system to run year round outside, for the compressor to run, for the con condenser fan motor to run. Um, doesn't mean your air conditioning's on, it just means that your system is in heating mode. That's the nature of a heat pump. It requires the usage of the compressor and the condenser fan motor to run year round. But I want you to just pay close attention to the noise that you're hearing. This is normal operation. And now we're going to show you what it looks like when a unit goes into defrost mode. So as soon as I jump this pin out real quick, you'll hear the reversal valve shift over. This is normal operation when it's in freezing conditions for the unit to do this every so often. how the condenser motor is stuck, okay? That noise that you heard is what we call the reverse of valve shifting, changing the flow of refrigerant from heating mode to actually air conditioning mode. And what's happening is these coils right here are getting warmer and warmer by the second. And when it goes into defrost mode, those coils will warm up. Um, it'll melt whatever frost has built up on there, leave a trail of moisture most of the time. Some steam will come out the top. So guys, this is what your condenser looks like when it's in defrost mode. Notice that the temperature of the coil is, you know, roughly, it's fluctuating, but getting as high as around 90 degrees. And that's all this unit's doing is it's basically running in air conditioning mode without that condenser fan running. While this unit is actually thawing the frost out, it's actually sending a signal to an upstairs heater kit to supplement heat in what we call auxiliary mode. If you have a second stage heat, more than likely it is a heat kit similar to this one here. These elements on the right side of the kit glow a bright orange color and your blower motor actually blows air across the heating elements, allowing hot air to go into your room while your unit is in defrost mode. Okay, keep in mind that anytime your unit goes into defrost, You'll probably see that auxiliary heat indicator um, as well as anytime you ask the thermostat to try and go above two degrees of what the room temperature is. So if you want it to climb to 78 and your room temperature is 75, the auxiliary heat is going to come on. However, if you bring it up in one degree increments, the auxiliary heat will go away. Okay, notice right now there's a one degree temperature differential between the thermostat setting and the room temperature. So here we go, we're seeing this condenser in heating mode right now through an infrared camera perspective. Notice how the top of the condenser, the circular part, that's actually the condenser fan grill. How dark that is, is because all the cold air is being extracted out the top. For what it's worth, heat pumps are definitely a different animal, but at least you know what some of the signs are to keep looking for. Uh, if you do happen to, you know, be moving to an area where, you know, you're going to be a first-time heat pump owner, at least now you know what to look for. Um, one last thing, too, is the 
amount of heat, the temperature that comes out of your supply vents. Uh, if, you, if you're used to a furnace, a heat pump is not going to put out anywhere near as much heat. So you're not going to want to drop your temperature down to say like 62 degrees if you're used to keeping it at 70 and then come back home and try and get it back up to 70 within you know an hour or so during freezing temperatures that's it's not going to happen with a heat pump best to keep around you know a five degree temperature differential it can probably climb that without running all day and uh, you know a lot of that depends on your insulation too in your house obviously how much it can retain heat but uh, for the most part i would say about five degree temperature differential if you're trying to do some energy efficiency type savings.